One question that I've been asked recently is about how to avoid the dreaded test day drop. And I certainly have some comments on that that I can share with you. So what is the test day drop? It's when someone is scoring around a particular range in the lead up to the exam. And then for one reason or another, they end up scoring at least a few points below their expected score range. Now, there are a number of reasons this can happen. Among them are nerves and anxiety. Among them are not having simulated test day conditions properly. And that can involve anything from not being ready for distractions. And those could be noise distractions, movement distractions. Those can be something like the test having two games sections back to back when you weren't ready for them, or even potentially three logical reasoning sections back to back when you weren't ready for that. So on that one, what can you do? Well, you can take a practice test that mimics that exact possibility, whatever you're most afraid of. That's what you need to simulate before walking in. So if someone distracting walking around you would make your hair stand on end, have a friend do that to to you on your next practice exam or take your next practice exam in a library or a Starbucks to simulate that ambient noise. Of course, there are plenty of video simulators online that mirror those distractions in case you want to Give yourself a dry run of what that would be like. You can also relate to anxiety. There's a number of things you can do. One of them, which I recommend frequently, is mindfulness meditation. Simply five minutes focusing on your breath can really make an enormous difference. Even if you started doing that now, over the next week or so, that would have an impact. It would give you the focus to remain calm and collected and on point if you encounter a question that you are especially bogged down by and you want to maintain the confidence to deal with it and move on. 